Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Josian and this is Kingdom Sense. Now today we're going to be taking a look at a fragrance that I'm a little late to the party. I know that a lot of people have been hyping this fragrance up. Uh, a lot of people have been comparing this fragrance to a lot of different things. Um, but the one thing that a lot of people have not been comparing it to is possibly the one that's most like that fragrance. And the fragrance that we're going to be talking about today is called Afnan's Tarathi Blue. Afnan Tarathi Blue. I don't know if you have been part of the fragrance community at all, but it has been getting a ton of hype lately. Um, so let's, it's going to be a first impressions here. All right. So presentation, Afnan Tarathi Blue. Now, the, the fragrance that people are saying that it's being cloned or it's cloning, it's Blue de Chanel. Some people say it's Blue de Chanel with a little bit of YSLY. Um, now, from the note breakdown that I'm seeing here and uh, just overall what I've heard, this probably smells more like uh, Tiger by, by uh, Bulgari, but we're going to check it out. We'll, we'll see. So nice textured box, um, very qu nice quality box, uh, has like a whole bunch of Afnan little, like it's, it's written all over. I don't know if you can see that. And then it does open up like that. And the fragrance is there. You have a little, I don't know what that says for the man carrying on a legacy, a man in control of his life out of, out to achieve his goals over overcoming all hurdles of life okay so i mean this is the type of guy that you are if you buy this fragrance don't let anyone tell you otherwise wow this is in there okay all right so yeah it, it's nice nice felt little um material in there it's very snug uh very good presentation honestly the bottle it is uh it is what it is i like the color of the bottle it's a very nice looking bottle I'm not very happy or overexcited over the the chrome type finish up there and I don't I don't know how, how I feel about the base being this small like I feel like this is a type of bottle that anything that touches it is gonna knock it's gonna it's gonna fall over so I don't know about that but let's see uh, Afnan Tarathi has some type of lettering there uh, I'm guessing that's saying Tarathi uh, in the back, nothing. On the bottom, you have a sticker that says Eau de Parfum. With, uh, it's a 90 ml, 80% volume, made in the UAE. So, let's see. I, ooh, that is in there. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, so it clicks into place. You could probably chuck it with the cap. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's in there. And it looks like the cap, you need to like, kind of like put it in the right place in order for it to click. You can't just put it anywhere and click it. Oh, there you go. That's nicer. Okay. So heavy metal cap, very heavy metal cap. Talk about you some doing some damage with that. All right. Now let's get a test strip here. Check out this fragrance and check out the atomizer. All right, here we go. Supposedly this is new. I mean, it was already sprayed. Oh, yes. Yes. It is tiger. It is definitely tiger. It has that grapefruit. Now <clears throat> I'm looking at Fragrantica right now. I have the notes pulled up and the note, it says citruses. Then you have amber and woody notes or woodsy notes. And then you have musk, patchouli and spices. That's what the notes of Fragrantica is. Now, how credible those notes are, you you be the judge of that. I have no idea. Uh, I think that this smells like tiger. Um, tiger's notes are grapefruit and broxen and woody notes. And that is what I'm getting from here. At first sniff, at least you do have, so you have the grapefruit, but 
there might be a touch of lemon in there. Mm, it smells incredible. It smells so good, man. So patchouli. I could see patchouli being here. Definitely has a patchouli type vibe in the end. But it does have like a metallic mineral type feel, which reminds me of Embroxin. And Embroxin is not listed as some, some of the notes that are in the fragrance. But I think, I think that there is Embroxin in here. Mm. Yeah, it's like the citrusy, woody, metallic type fragrance. I would say it's probably a little bit bluer than Tiger. I think Tiger focuses more on the grapefruit and broxen. This one has like some bluer elements, like some fresher elements. Uh, what can I say? It smells amazing. It, it does. It smells really good. People are really going to like this. This is not Blue de Chanel. This is not YSL Y Eau de Parfum. This is not um, Dior Sauvage. This is Bulgari Tiger with a twist. It's not exactly a one-to-one -one clone, but it's definitely heavily inspired by Bulgari Tiger. And it just has a little minor differences. But you get in this, this bottle, you're getting it for a good, like, what, $30, right? 90 ml. You go get Bulgari Tiger, that is a $300 plus dollar fragrance. And this smells a lot like it, a lot like it. It's not going to smell one to one, but if you were to go come up to your family member, to your uncle, to your mom, to your wife, whatever, and you give them this and you tell them, smell it. And then you put on the other hand, Bulgari Tiger, they're not going to sit there and be like, oh, well, no, no, this one has a little bit of, no, this one. No, they're just going to say they smell alike. They smell good. They smell fresh. That's what you're getting from this. That's what you're getting from this. And that's what I think a lot of people in the fragrance community, it gets, it, it, they harp so much on it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think that the clone of fragrance, uh, 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 on one side, it's kind of like you taking someone's art and idea and you're making it yourself. But on the other hand, the what it takes to actually kind of get the mixture together and and the right oils and the right scents and everything like that to get that fragrance it takes a little bit of effort okay not as much to create the fragrance but it takes some effort um and if you're gonna if you're gonna make the effort of making a fragrance close to smell incredible and close enough to a fragrance that I really love and you're charging me $30 for it instead of 300, a 10th of the price. I mean, get yourself three bottles of this and just give it to friends and trust me, they're going to love it. They're going to love it. So yeah, I mean, this is, an, this is a awesome, awesome blue fragrance. Um, uh, Tarathi blue. What can I say? Um, when it comes to what times do you sm you 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 spray this? What what time you wear this? Anytime you want. Out of the shower to go to sleep, to go to the supermarket, to go out on a date, to go to school, to go to work. You could wear this. This is versatile at the max. This you could wear anytime, any place that you want. It smells inoffensive. It's going to smell good to 99% of people that you come across. I love Tiger DNA. So I'm kind of like biased onto what I what I what I like about this fragrance. If you haven't smelled uh, the Tiger DNA, then um, get a sample of it if you can. If you if you can't, um, I know that Alexandria Fragrances has a very very good Tiger clone called Black Panther, and you could get it from them. You get like a little. 15 milliliter little uh, travel size atomizer, travel size thing, and you could try it there. But for 30 bucks, this is a great buy. Great buy. Great presentation. Heavy cap. It is a uh, overall man. Afnan is killing it. Afnan is Afnan is doing its thing, man. So 
Um, I'm going to let you guys know what I think about the longevity and the performance of this fragrance in a future video. I'll do like a full review of it. But first impressions, this is great. It is a great, great, great fragrance. And it smells like Tiger. So if you got, if you guys like Tiger, you're going to like this one. Now, if you're, if you have Tiger and you want a Tiger, like a Tiger clone, this is not one to one. This is just in, this a Tiger with a twist. It has a little bit of a difference, but it still has that same metallic blue citrusy grapefruit uh, feel to it. But it has some slight differences. It's a little bit bluer than Tiger, but it still smells incredible. Anybody that has not smelled Tiger is going to love this. You're just going to love if you never smelled Tiger, you never smelled Tarathi Blue, you're going to love this. I promise you. This is a 9.2 out of 10 for me. 9.2. The only reason that I'm giving it a 9.2 is because I haven't worn it. I don't know what the performance is like and everything like that. But when it comes to presentation, price, and scent profile, no alcohol blast at all. No alcohol tinge. No wait a second before it smells good. Nothing, nothing like that. This is off the rip. As soon as you spray it, it smells incredible. So for that, 9.2 out of 10. Great, great fragrance. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Please hit subscribe uh, if you like this type of content. Leave a like on the video because it helps me out a lot. And comment down below. Let me know. Have you smelled tiger before? If you haven't, have you smelled Tarathi blue before? And what is your favorite Afnan fragrance? If you have one, Afnan has a lot. It has the Afnan 9 a.m. dive, it has Afnan 9 p.m. You have the, the um, not only intense uh, line, like that, that whole, uh, I forget what it's called, uh, but that, that whole line is, is incredible. So, yeah, they have a lot of good fragrances, and this is another one to their collection. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. God bless you all, and take care.